This is a very, very quick guide on how to set up the Ledger Nano S. For a more detailed step-by-step -step tutorial, please click the link in the description box or at the top of the video now or at the end of the tutorial. All right, so let's get started. So step one, plug in your device and select new device using the buttons at the top of your Ledger Nano S. Step number two, choose your pin. So you'll need to use this pin to log into your ledger every time you want to use it. Use the buttons at the top of your ledger to choose your pin. I'm using a four number pin. The fifth dash is to confirm my pin is complete. To confirm your pin is complete, press both buttons at the top. You will also need to reconfirm your pin. Enter in your pin again and confirm holding both buttons down. Step three, write down your 24 word recovery phrase. The 24 word recovery phrase can be used to back up your device. So if in any case you lose your device, you can back up a new device and still get access to all of your cryptocurrency. The ledger will generate 24 words that you need to write down on this piece of paper or on any piece of paper that you can keep safe. So press the write button on your ledger now. Then write down your first word. Then press again and write down your second word. Do this for all 24 words. Make sure you write them down in order. Make sure to use a permanent pen that doesn't fade over time. Make sure to keep your words safe. If you lose them, you won't be able to back up your device in the future or somebody can have access to your funds. Step four, confirm your recovery phrase. Press both buttons at the top. The ledger will ask you, for example, what your 21st word is. You will then need to use the left or right buttons to navigate to the right word and then press both buttons to confirm the word. You will need to do this a couple of times to confirm your 24 word recovery phrase. Step five. Now that the device is ready to be used, connect it to your computer and go to www ledger.com. Scroll down to the Ledger Live and click on download. Then click on download now. Install the Ledger Live wallet onto your computer and then open it. Because we have already initialized our Ledger Nano S, you can click on use a device that's already initialized. If you have the Ledger Nano S, select that or Ledger Blue and then press continue. Take yes for your security questions and make sure the Ledger Nano S is connected so that it can be checked for its genuinity. Now enter a password for your Ledger Live wallet or skip this step if you want. Press continue for analytics and bug reports and your device is ready to use. Now open the Ledger Live. So this is the layout of the Ledger Live wallet it's very easy to navigate and very easy to use. So let's click on Open Manager. And again, you need to make sure that your Ledger Nano S is connected. Okay. So the three cryptocurrencies that have already been installed onto my Ledger Nano S is Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Fido. So if I want to install Bitcoin Cash, for example, so I'm going to click on Install. Okay, and it says Bitcoin Cash is now installed on your device. There you go. And you should see it pop up on your actual Ledger Nano S if you press your buttons. So the next step, if you want to now add Bitcoin Cash to your accounts here so that it also displays on your portfolio, you need to click on the plus sign here and then click on the arrow pointing down and then select whatever cryptocurrency that you have added. So I'm going to click on Bitcoin Cash and then continue. Again, your Ledger Nano S needs to be connected to your computer. On your Ledger Nano S, you need to navigate to Bitcoin Cash. So just keep 
pressing the buttons until you see Bitcoin Cash. And then you want to click both buttons at the same time. And once you do that, it says use wallet to view accounts. Okay, and now click continue. Okay, there you go. So Bitcoin Cash has been added. I'm just going to call this Bitcoin Cash. And now you want to click on add account. There you go. Account successfully added to your portfolio. And you can add more applications if you want. I'm just going to click on the X sign. And there you go. So if you double click on Bitcoin Cash, you can now receive Bitcoin Cash, for example, or you can also send Bitcoin Cash.